Good morning, students. Welcome back to our class. And that is MBO Management uh, MOP. Sorry, Management Organizational Behavior. Uh, today uh, we are going to start with our new topic. That is nothing but the main approaches to organizational management, where it includes four part. And today we are going to learn first part in that. So let's have a look on the screen. Yeah. The main uh, approaches to organizational structure and management. So the following four are the main approaches to organization structure and management. They are they are first one the classical approach, second one uh, the human relationship approach, and third one that is the system approach, and the last one that is nothing but. Uh, the contingency approaches. Uh, uh, approaches means what? First of all, try to understand that basic meaning. It means that uh, uh, to get near something, to get something in that means getting out something in deep knowledge, having a deep knowledge of something. That means nokta uh, in Urdu we used to say it as nokta uh, nazar. So a deep or a clear vision, a vision of a particular work is known as approach here. The main approach to organization structure and management, how the management should have to be there and how the structure, when an organization is going to take place or implementing, what are, how the structure should have to be constructed. How, uh, what sort of employee should be there, what will be the design of the structure should be there, how the management should has to be there, how the system should be there, how the relationship or uh, the atmosphere or the environment should be there in the organizations, what sort of facilities should be there and what sort of timing, infrastructure, uh, work structure, uh, output, Miss, uh, meeting our goals like mission and visions, all these things will come under these approaches. So, among this, first one we will go with the classical approach. And the today's topic for the class is the classical approach. We are having four approaches. Uh, don't get confused in examination. If he asks approaches to organization structure, means you have read all these four structures. If he is asking anyone, with different name. Every uh, approach is having another name also. If he is asking that particular approach, you have to explain that particular approach itself only. No need to go with other approaches. Now we will go with the first one that is the classical approach. And today class we are completing with this and it is very very important. Please give concentration towards my words and work so that it can be easy to understand from your side. Now, First one is classical approach. A classical management theory is based on the benefits that workers only have physical and economic needs. So it means that it is based on the belief that workers only have physical and economic needs. It, uh, in the olden days, people used to say that why the work or why the organization is taking place or implementing because to fulfill the needs of the economic or physical needs of the employees like food, shelter, plot, that's it. It doesn't take any uh, account like social needs or job satisfaction or instead advocates or specialization of labor or skill labor or centralized leadership and decision making, profit maximization, nothing. So, and <coughs> these approaches are classified into three. One is the scientific management given by F.W. Taylor and administrative principles by Henry Paul, all these two already we have discussed in our last class and that means the second class and this is about the bureaucratic organization. Now, <coughs> uh, today we will explain about bureaucratic organizations. I want to open you and show you how when we have discussed the scientific management and administrative principles, one or two slides so that you can able to understand how does it work and what is the main work of that. So, if I open this, see in the last class we have discussed scientific management theory. This is what the features of the management principles, all these uh, four principles of that and harmony group. These all are comes under the scientific management or uh, F.W. Taylor. Coming to the Henry Paul's 14 principles of Henry Paul, all these things we have discussed here. 
in the last class so these are the things you should have to write mention clearly that uh, what are the things will comes under the classical management approach now <coughs> we'll go with the next one that is bureaucratic organization developed by max Weber. yeah see i want to just give a small introduction how it has been established why it has been established bureaucratic theory was developed by a german sociologist and political economics by max weber in it he was uh, during the first world war it has been utilized in a most prompt way according to him bureaucracy is the most efficient form of organization the organization has a well defined line of authority it has clear rules and regulations which are strictly followed what you want to say that to run an organization bureaucracy is the most effective form of organization where the organization has defined uh, the line of authority what are the rules and regulations are the policies are the duties are the rules are rules of an organization of employees to work together it is a form of chain from top to the bottom so this theory has worked well in the world war 1 during the uh, british the england and the ottoman empire the chain has worked in such a way now who is this person this is the person max weber who work in the government organizations as well as in the private organizations the faith of our time is characterized by the rationalism realization and intellectualization and above all by the disenchantment of the world here itself only rationalization from top to bottom how the hierarchy has been taken place and intellectualization understanding the uh, duties and responsibility of an intellectuals uh, now he is saying that max weber the father of bureaucracy was a german sociologist who studied the various businesses and the government organizations and identify bureaucratic administration here he indicates that it is an ideal form of administration where in the delegations mean authorized persons of management responsibilities is permissible only to those persons who are capable to have the ability to hold the positions he is saying that bureaucratic is nothing but bureaucracy deals with a person who is holding a position and that kind of management skill should have to be permissible with that person the persons who are holding managerial skills can hold the position of the management or administration this term is known as bureaucracy in simple terms now here uh, as you know that uh, <coughs> the classification in the last class that means in the first one that is nothing but the scientific and administration how it has been taken place like scientific management theory was developed by taylor and this was developed by henry feuer he is the father of scientific management is the father of modern management it deals with the management scientifically to find out the most effective way to do the job that means one best way to do the job what is the best way to do the job here it is related with the universal process of planning organizing commanding coordinating controlling exercises all these things that and introduce 14 principles of management and if you add that also max weber this all three approaches will comes under the classical classical approaches so what does here it means according to this the difference between the classical theories classical theories were developed by three people first one is uh father of scientific management is taylor who is the author of scientific management taylor who is the author of administrative management theory henry feuer he is the father of general or modern management he is the father of scientific management and who is the author of bureaucratic management theory max weber he is the father of bureaucratic management on which way they are emphasizes the emphasis on the production and engineering that means low level management how the management should be there at the low level and managerial functions how the top level management should have to be there and how the organization structure both are working in the top level management one is a managerial how the management functions functions and how the organization structure should be there organization structure is different whereas managerial function is different how the applications are utilizing the applications are be utilizing the scientific management by specialized organizations it is used in the 
universally and this bureaucratic management is used in government sectors and large organizations so, so by this you people can understand that what does classical management theory is based on the classical management theory is based on the belief that workers only have physical and economic needs it doesn't have an account over social needs or job satisfaction but whereas here it has been mentioned clearly that what the marx is saying he was saying that the most effective way form of organization as the organization has a well defined line of authority it has clear rules and regulations which are strictly followed that means in the organization to run an organization first the management should have to plan process and important policies rules and regulations are not and they have to implement it in a proper way so that it can be worked on now for all for this story i want to just will focus now on the what do you mean by bureaucracy and what are the characteristics of bureaucracy the first one is <coughs> it's nothing but let us see the meaning bureaucracy refers to the management of large organizations characterized by hierarchy hierarchy means from top to bottom line of authority hmm? fixed rules interpersonal relationships rigid adherence to procedure rigid means combination of from all that like longitudes and latitudes will be there in social the lines are combining here the lines are combined with the line management and staff management and the procedures is there everyone should have to follow it a rigid is an adherence should be there and a highly specialized division of labor should be there specialized division of workers or labor should be there then this is known as bureaucracy overall in simple parallel language i want to tell you that bureaucracy is drills with deals with the management or organizes to characterize how the people should have to be placed and what is their work and how the people should have to work that means selecting the skill labor giving some fix some rules and regulations and making a good relationship with them and should have to follow from top to bottom now characteristics of bureaucratic organizations they are first one rules and regulations should be there and job responsibilities are written down and clearly stated what are the jobs are giving to the employees we have to note it down and we have to inform them the rules and regulations and job responsibilities and state them in a clear way and clear hierarchy of power is concentrated among a few high ranking managers so what is happening you have to intimate the employees who are coming in the new organizations about the supreme power or hierarchy power which has been given concentration on high ranking managers now appointments and promotions of officers are formal because this officers will be held accountable so the appointments are the promotions of officers who are the new officers is coming or joining the organizations or if you want to give a experience person as a, if he is getting a promotion and these are the common things are formal because these officers will be held accountable and these are the main people who are accountable for running the organization employees are hired on the basis of their skill knowledge not because of favoritism or luck keep in mind many people nowadays are his luck is good he got the job no actually if a person who is having a good skill good communications good knowledge good demand the company should have to hire them but nowadays what is happening references is taking place when the work uh, as a result what is happening the effective uh, result of the work is not taking place so it is a problem so what he is saying <coughs> what worker want to say that i am sorry that we have to hire those employees who are having good skills and knowledge experience qualifications and attitude of doing that work not on uh, luck or favoritism or references if if we are doing like that what will happen after a time being or after some time the company will lose its quality of work or effective goal now next characteristic is salaries are tied to a pay grade system there should be a particular system for so on so job there is so on so salary it should have to be mentioned clearly and the power of authority should have to be mentioned clearly and given the work to them 
now bureaucracies are unable or unwilling to adapt to changing conditions quickly micromanagement i mean micromanaging is wrong so what is happening it is taking some time or it is sometimes it is not able to adopt all of a sudden changing conditions are quickly it is taking some random time or it will take some time to understand the procedure of the organization now have a look on the screen now we are going to learn about the key features of bureaucratic administration the first one is greater emphasis on the compliance of standard rules see what is happening here uh, here max weber has suggested that the authority in the organizations must be managed by the following standard rules The following standard rules and regulations should be there are the institution goals must be given pure importance over the personality goals which enables the managers to equally treatment all the subordinates it also helps uh, them to take care about the decision by predicting the future course of an action so uh, the greater emphasis will takes place when Uh, rules and regulations should be in standard and everyone should have to follow it and the future course of action should have to be taken if someone is doing wrong thing or who are going against the rules and regulations a systematic division of work should be there see we should not have to do any kind of partiality over here a work should have to be divided in a equal basis on the equal terms it doesn't mean that for example in an organization xyz people are working together and uh, all of a sudden four or five employees has not come for the day so the work should have to be divided with other employees in a proper way we should not have to do partial we have to take care all these things will comes under the bureaucratical behavior and in the next chapter in this unit 2 we are having behavior realism how the behavior should be there in the organizations and sometimes one employee will get all of a sudden n number of duties extra duties are over time he should not have to take in a negative way. he should have taken a positive because he is having that efforts and work that is the reason he is getting more extra duties and it is a duty of the management also that if they are taking more time they should have to give more uh, perks or allowances or extra income like overtime jobs or salaries or rewards something should have to get so that he can get motivated now follow the principle of hierarchy everyone should have to follow the principle of hierarchy hierarchy means what hierarchy is nothing but the uh, it is a uh, an power of authority given from the head office or the head people to the or top management to the low level management people okay so we have to follow the rules and regulations we have to respect to our boss boss is always always boss now knowledge and training in the application of rules should be there when a new employee is coming into the organization he should have to uh, the company should have to give a curable and the, uh, without any errors they have to give the clear picture of their j- jobs duty goals mission vision of the organizations and their training part also should have to include the rules and regulations what are the things has been limited limitation or benefits or the powers of that so on so particular employee should have to maintain a record of administration acts and decisions and rules that means whatever the organization is taking the decisions they have to keep in record whatever the uh, administrative actions or rules are implementing in the organization if they are adding new rules or if they are terminating old rules or if they are taking some kind of decision or depending on some situations all these decisions rules regulations and administrative acts should have to be keep in record for future so that in upcoming days if any kind of problems are coming so that they can uh, it this kind of data can help to take the decision in future next one is rational personal administration so what does it mean see depending on the credentials and merit basis people are selected and their remuneration is fixed on the basis of their position in the hierarchy so this is nothing but the people should have to focus on the loyalty that means promotions are given strictly to on the basis of the hard work loyalty and the commitment of the people 
that is nothing but the rational personal administration personal here means not personal human human resource hr hr another name means personnel see the pronunciation personnel personal means human resource or the employees working in the organizations now we will go with this thing how the bureaucratic form of organization is taking place yes. see for example this is an uh, organization a type of an organization where they are having the the groups has been this company has been divided into different levels what are those first one is operative employees first level managers middle level managers top level managers so this is the hierarchy of chain of power of authority where the decisions will come from the top management or rules and policies will implemented that means they will plan and it will be given to them for the implementation so these people will give to them and these people will give to them and these people should have to observe them so these are the operative that means ground level working employees are nothing but operative employees whereas power and authority will be high for the top level manager if you see this line is going upwards okay and this level is going low so here the power of authority will be high to the top level manager whereas number of employees will be less in the top level managers and middle so if you see this chain how it is going up and how it is going down here the strength is more here the strength is less towards the power number of employees are many here whereas uh, number of employees are few in the top level management like this by seeing this picture you can able to understand how many numbers will be high and how many numbers will be few in which level and apart from that if you see on the another side you can check that the power of authority is also given it is high to the top level management comparing with the low level employees or operative employees so this is the picture by this we can understand that this is the form of bureaucratic form of an organization so that there should not be any kind of troubles everyone should can focus on it now we'll go with the advantages of bureaucracy what are the advantages of bureaucracy first one is specialization or expertise see bureaucracy forms the basics for dividing work of the organization into various functional departments this helps this helps the people's or the organization's employees okay to specialize their respective fields thereby by uh, having a good experience the people can select some specialist among that work and they can help to the organization for future a specialization experts will be there or expertise community will be there where these people's duty is to fulfill the requirements of the organizations skill based recruitment should be there when uh, this bureaucracy will help to select the skill based recruitment or the employees in the organizations and it will be predictability that means stability of an organization so when the employees are working mainly depend on the rules regulations training specialization structure and other components of bureaucracy there should be this should have to be implemented that means when the employee is coming into the organizations he will be dependent on the rules regulations training specialization uh, structure and other components of bureaucracy so this is the predictability now equality there should be equal among all the uh, people that means democracy should be there there should be no partiality with a particular religion or region or with a particular person so here bureaucracy will not involve any kind of impartiality it will uh, have a focus on equality so this is one of the advantages of bureaucracy if you are having a bureaucracy uh, approach in the organization this will help to the employees and the organizations that the work should be divided into equal way now coming to the structure a bureaucracy approach will help to create a good structure for the organization for running for the long term so what are the structure uh includes the structure includes the schedule powers or authority or the decision making persons planning implementing organizing selecting or uh, making new policies uh, what is the work of 
which department that means dividing the work in a proper way implementing the plans which was generated by the uh, top level management peoples and then it can be focused that means they should have to be inspection should be there either the work is implementing or not coordination should be there uh, motivation should be there staffing should be there directing should be there Co cooperation should be there controlling should be there all these things will make one good structure so this bureaucracy helps in structuring the organization system how the system should have to work how the people should have to interact how the work can be taken place in a smooth and short way all these things will be taken place now systematically report keep what are the rules or policies or regulations are implementing it should have to keep a record not only that sometimes whenever the decisions are taking place in a proper way it should have to be taken place in a right way now next one is rationality that means the power can be rationalized that means in a proper way it should not have to depend on others and the work should be complemented in the given task period now what are the principles of bureaucratic theory it is an authority of hierarchy it is a formal rules and regulations that means this uh, bureaucracy will help in creating the rules and regulations of the work and division of work will be there that workers will have their own divisions now that means it will help in uh, orienting the career that means career orientation can be taken place next one is formal or selection process will be there how the selection process should be there for selecting the recruitment of the employees in the organizations all these things will comes under the principles of bureaucracy now some of the people had given uh, experts had given their criticism towards the bureaucratic theory what are those see bureaucracy theory helps in producing a privileged group having more administrative power than before that means it will uh, privilege group that means the persons who are working for the long term or for n number of years they will be having some administrative power than before they won't give respect to the newly joined peoples they say we are from so many years this is one disadvantage artisis too much emphasis on rules and regulations it will be too much we have to focus on the rules and regulations which will create a complex in the organization no importance is given to the informal groups only formal groups will have the importance informal groups that means low level managers are the uh, operative employees will come under this there will be no informal groups for them that means importance will not be given to them involves a lot of paperwork we need to have a lot of paperwork should have to be taken place for making the planning organizing implementing checking inspecting everything for all this purpose we need a paperwork next uh, it is uh, unnecessary delay in decision making sometimes the decision can be delayed and not suitable for all the type of oriented organizations too much importance is given to the technical qualification that means the person who is technically qualified he for him only will gives much importance for the person who is having a good positions and he doesn't have the qualification technical qualification he will not get that importance and difficulties in coordination and communication there will be a lot of mismanagement among the communication and coordination now we will go for some limitations of bureaucracy see over conformity to rules and regulations and bug passing uh, categorization of queries all these things will come from uh, displacement of goals here in spelling mistake i'll just correct it no real right to appeal neglect informal groups rigid structure incapable to fulfill the requirements of mature individuals all these things will come under see over conformity to rules as nothing but in a bureaucratic organizations employees feel stick to the rule if uh, the policy if the he is not following the rules and regulations he will be penalized that means forcefully he is following the rules and regulations in the organization if you won't follow then the penalty will be there on him now bug pass will be there so what will happen some restrict because absence of the rules employees either postpone their decision or shift them to others these are the initiative of the people is restrained because in the absence of rules they will not 
follow the rules and regulations when the boss is not there uh, categorization of queries will be there possible that means the possible queries which may come from outside have been categorized in advance that means what are the things are coming from outside without planning without informing to the top level management they will criticize that queries displacement of goals the goals can be displaced if it, uh, during the common phenomenon when occurrence will not take place in a proper way no real right of appeal appeal will not be there that means not giving uh, importance to the low level peoples neglect informal groups here also not giving proper decision that means whenever the low level employees are appealing for a leave or for uh, some ex gratia or for uh, want to go for one hour break or some x y z reasons his appeal is not going to be willing to fulfill or sometimes he want he will keep in front of the management that he needs some extra employees or the resources or the machines or money for fulfilling or requiring for that uh, goal or for the achievement of his project so it will be not given much importance so, so these are the uh, limitations or the disadvantages of the bureaucracy because these people who are holding the power on the top management they will not uh, listen or focus on the to the low level of the manager people it is an incapable to fulfill the requirements of mature individuals sometimes what will happen the low level employees will having the mature mind he can take proper decision comparing to the managerial skill persons but even though his decisions or his requirement will not be fulfilled so what will happen this kind of people will get frustration and they won't you the quality of work at last so it will be disturbing the effectiveness of the organization's goal so by this today uh, i am just stopping my class uh, this was a just uh, one of the approaches in the human uh, structure that means approaches of the organization structure and management so today we have completed with the classical approach so once again we will go with the reflectualization that is nothing but what are the things are involved in this we are having scientific management principles of management bureaucratic management in scientific management was de uh, developed by frederick tyler principles of management was developed by the henry poyle and bureaucratic was uh, management was de developed by <coughs> max weber so i hope students you have understood please mention your names in the comment box Thank you. Have a nice day.